Okay, this is question nine in exercise 9.4. The question says, find the values of A, B and C if 20x minus 17 is equivalent to A bracket x minus 4 squared minus B bracket 5x plus 1 plus C. Okay. That's the question. We have to try to find A, B and C. Okay. So what we do is we take the right hand side of this and we expand it all out. Okay. So let's write that down. We're going to write that down again. So taking that side, just rewriting it and we're going to expand it now. Okay. So on the next line, A, now if we expand this, Unable expansion. Okay, we get x squared minus 8x plus 16. And then expand this one. So minus 5bx minus b. And then we get a plus c. All right. Let's now expand this with the a. So a times x squared is ax squared minus 8ax plus 16a and finish writing the rest of the expression. Okay, so now we're going to group everything according to their terms. So we've got ax squared, there's only one x squared term. Okay, the x terms are minus 8ax and minus 5bx, so we're going to put them together. All right, put a minus in front of the brackets if you like, and just write 8a plus 5b, right, we took a common factor, the minus, out in front. And the other common factor was x, so that goes after the brackets. All right, so you've got ax squared minus the x term, and then the remaining terms are your constants. So we're just going to put them together, 16a minus b plus c. All right. Okay, so now we are ready to equate equating both sides. So equate both sides. All right, and that means that we now take the 20x okay, and equate that with the x term. All right, the minus 17 gets equated with the constants and the, uh, the 0, 0x zero squared term, so 0 gets equated with a, the ax squared term. So we just simply write that a is equal to zero. There is no x squared term there. So when you equate it, a is equal to zero. Right? Let's equate the x terms. 20 is equal to, there's the coefficient of the x term there. So that coefficient gets equated with that coefficient. Right? So it's minus 8a plus 5b. Right? And then the constant is minus 17 and you equate that with the 16a minus b plus c. Okay, all of that gets equated with a minus 17. All right, so now we just simply um, can solve all of these three simultaneously. So if a is equal to zero, right, let's call that one, call that two, call that three, we're going to substitute 1 into 2. Right, if we do that, we get 20 equals minus 8 times 0 plus 5b. Okay, so 20 equals minus 5b. And, of course, b is equal to minus 4. Divide by minus 5 on both sides, and that's what you get. All right, so now we're going to substitute, call that number 4, Sub 4 into 3. Okay, we're also going to substitute um, the a equals 0 into there. All right, so sub 4, I should say, into 3, or sub 4, and 1 into 3. Okay. All right, so 4 is b equals minus 4, and 1 was a equals zero. We're going to substitute both those into three. 
Okay, so let's do that now. So we write minus 17 equals 16 times 0, which is A. Okay, then minus B, which is minus 4, and then plus C. Okay, so let's clean that up. So minus 17 equals plus 4 plus C. Take away 4 on both sides, so C is equal to minus 21. Right, and we'll just write a nice conclusion that therefore A is equal to 0, B is equal to minus 4, and C is equal to minus 21.